A couple months ago here on my channel, I showed you guys the real way to play the main riff to Damage Incorporated by Metallica, but it turns out that there's another riff in this song that's been stumping you guys. So today we're going to take a look at that middle riff that comes in before the solo. Check it out. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to this week's installment of Weekend Wank Shop. Here's your best buddy, Uncle Ben. The bridge riff in Damage Incorporated by Metallica from their landmark Master of Puppets Records is one of the sickest riffs on the album and unfortunately it's also one of the riffs that I see badly tabbed and taught the most often. It's a pretty tricky riff to play with some really quick gallops and an unusual accent pattern but it's not too bad if you break it down step by step. But before we do, let's hear it again at stepdad speed. <laughs> And as always, you guys can find a full tab for this week's lesson over on my Instagram page. Be sure to give me a follow over at Ben Eller Guitars. Find the tab for this week's lesson, learn how to play it, then upload a video of yourself shredding through it along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. It's getting a little too dork there for a second. Gotta turn on a light. Most of you guys probably already know this is in standard tuning, but nowadays Metallica plays it tuned down a half step. So if you're playing along with the record version, keep it in standard. Okay, so the first thing you run into with this riff is two palm muted low E's. Those are going to be downstrokes. They dang well better be downstrokes. After this, what you're going to do is to hit the seventh fret A string, that's also palm muted, with a downstroke and an upstroke. And then the third note of that little gallop is going to be going back to the low E. So it's two notes on the A, one note on the low E. Kind of a displaced gallop, if you want to look at it that way. P.S. These are gallops not triplet. A triplet is not a gallop. Anyway, so you got your two low E's, your little gallop that spans the A string to the E string. Next what you're going to do is to play the 8th fret A string. This is not palm muted. Back to your palm muted low E. Then your 5 on your A, not palm muted. Then your palm muted low E again. So now you should have a phrase that sounds something like this. Next what you're going to do is to play this phrase. So this is again that same displaced gallop, two 7th fret A's and then an open E, all palm muted. Then you're going to play the 8th fret on the A string here, palm muted low E. Do that displaced gallop thing again, two 7 A's, one open E. And then play your B flat power chord. This is 6 on the E string and 8 on the A. That's the entire first phrase, so it should sound something like this. Do that three times. And then they change it up for this fourth phrase. So what we're going to do for that last phrase right there is to start off with two of those palm muted low E's open. Displaced gallop, just like always, two A's on seven, one open low E. Then you gotta play that eighth fret A string, palm muted low E. Fifth fret A string, palm muted low E. So now you got. Then we're gonna play. That was another displaced gallop, two sevens on the A and an open low E. Third fret A, not palm muted. One more chug on the open low E. So that's. Then you're gonna play the fifth A string here two times, then an open low E. So that's that same displaced gallop idea, but we're doing it here on the fifth instead of the seventh like we have been. And then play a B power chord. This is two on the A and four on the D. So that last phrase should sound something like this. On the recording, if you listen really hard to the guitar that's panned hard left, it almost sounds like Kirk actually just hits just a single B note with a very slight pinch harmonic on it um, rather than the chord the very first time. Maybe that's an accident. I'm not exactly sure. 
Sounds more full if you play it with the B power chord. That's, you know, obviously James jumping in and playing that part. So I can't swear on my grandmother's grave that he's playing the B power chord. But it sounds like it, and he does it live. So there's that. And I want to spend a second here and talk about the right hand aspect of this riff. You can't really cover a Metallica riff and not talk about the right hand a little bit. The only upstrokes that are used are the second notes of the gallops. Okay, let me say that again here. The only time you're ever going to use an upstroke in this riff is the second note of the gallop. See that? That's the only upstrokes that you'll use in the riff are on the gallops. Otherwise, use downs for everything. Again, the ups are only there for those quick 16th notes. That whole James Hetfield only uses downstrokes thing is totally a lie. James will use downstrokes if it's quarter notes or eighth notes. But anytime it's on the E or a uh of the 16th notes, one E and a, uh, which is where these gallops are falling on the E, he will use an upstroke. So don't believe that whole downstroke only thing. That's not true at all. So anyway, so the only time you're gonna use upstrokes is on the gallops. Make sure everything else is all downstrokes. Uh, if you try to do this with any kind of strict alternate picking at that tempo, it is not going to happen. That's not going to work out for you at all. So be sure to uh, only use those upstrokes on those 16th notes like that. Now another thing to notice here is the bounce that the right hand palm has to do to get on and off of those strings. This is something that's really essential for any guitar player that's wanting to get their metal rhythm playing sounding great. You got to learn how to pop that hand on and off the strings. It's just a little twitch, you know. I'm exaggerating a little for camera here. Whenever I play it, it's very small. You can barely see my hand coming off the strings. Probably if you played it in super slow motion or something, you'd see it. But just be sure to really watch that. You know, whenever you're on the strings, really get on there and palm mute them hard. A light palm mute is not what you want for this kind of sound. You really want to get in there hard. And whenever you come off of the strings for one of those accents, make sure to kind of bounce off. I always kind of think of it as the bounce is kind of built into the pick stroke. It's almost like the the downstroke that I do on those accents kind of carries my hand away from the strings naturally. So the bounce is kind of built into the right hand attack anyway. That displaced gallop kind of thing is sort of unusual. Usually we see gallops just taking place on, you know, all on a single string like that. But if you want another riff to practice this with that's maybe not as fast and brutal, try checking out Shedding Skin by Pantera, that first riff in there. That's full of displaced gallops, you know? They have two notes on one string and a third note on the next string. So that might be a good one to practice with if this is busting your chops too much. So there you go guys, another classic Metallica riff decoded. I love cracking into these things and getting down to the bottom of them, so let me know any other great old school Metallica or Megadeth or Pantera, or whatever riffs that you've always had trouble finding good transcriptions of, and I will crack them down for you on a future episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You guys can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller, on Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars, and if you want to book some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you lickety-split. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, if you like it, learn it. Cheers.